Hey, welcome to a quick look at the Buzzer Bowl. So this game, uh, the, the, the idea behind this game is if you've ever seen any of those like academic de de decathlons or academic challenges or academic quiz bowls, uh, that's the idea behind this. And usually it's two teams playing, but for this one, we've got four teams there across the bottom. Now you'll see we've got a 15 minute clock, so I'm gonna turn that clock on. You see, oh, just give you a real quick heads up. This on the right is the UI. This on the left is the, the game screen. Uh, this software works like a presentation software. So I've got, uh, you would have this on, like I've run it on a laptop, but then you connect to like a secondary display through like HDMI going up to projector or big screen. And this uh, screen over here on the left would be the game screen. So you can see there's a, a, a start clock. So you can see there's a 15 minute counter. You can see the, the team names across the top and then all the players in each team. So there's four teams, four columns. So what happened is like we started off with the buzzers were off. You can see we can turn them all off and no one can buzz in right now. So you do need physical buzzers. We'll talk more about that later. Hit buzzers hot in the UI and you'll see it lights up. Now at this point, people can buzz in. So I'd ask a question like, what's the capital of France? And then people start buzzing in. So you'd see people buzzing in from all over. And you can see on the first buzz in, you heard the sound effect. And then for the rest of the, the buzzers, you don't because people could answer. And so if they go to answer, the guy says, uh, the capital of, of uh, France is Milwaukee. You say, oh no, that's wrong. And you can see because we see the first person to buzz in was player number two, and then on that second line, that's Jerry over there in team four, the five four. If he gets it wrong, then it goes on down the list. So you can see have up to six people buzzing in. And even now, as people are getting later in the, in the game, if say they all get that wrong, oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> if they get it correct, that's what happens. That's fantastic. So you see George won. Congratulations, George. So now, now that we've got a winner, we got a correct answer, uh, now that team has a chance to go to the bonus round. So I'm gonna go here to the bonus timer, and then you've got 15 seconds to answer as many bonus questions as possible, or three. So uh, what is, uh, what's the major monument? Where is the Eiffel Tower? It's in France, I'd say, correct. Give them, give them some points. Uh, where is uh, the capital? Yes. And so you can ask questions there and hit the plus. I'm trying to do this and, and show a thing and come up with questions. I did not prepare well, so here we go. This is where we are. But uh, so after you answer, after everyone has a chance to buzz in, but then the team has a chance to by themselves answer those bonus questions if you want to. Then when you're done, you can go back to buzzers off. That puts everyone back down the bottom and you're ready for the next, uh, the next question. So you'd ask the next, oh, you'd go buzzers hot. That way they turn all blue at the bottom. Everybody knows that their buzzers are now working and then you're ready to ask the next question. So uh, let's say we ask, you know, where is, uh, what's the capital of Missouri? And then people start buzzing in and then say, that person gets it wrong. So he gets it wrong. Now, at this point, how long do you wait? Do you wanna wait a long time? Do you not wanna wait? Well, that's what the, the, that last chance timer is. So you can kind of wait a little bit, but when that last chance timer is like, okay, here we go. Anyone else got a question? I hit last chance timer and it starts a five second countdown. And now they have five seconds to buzz in. If they don't make that, now we're gonna move on to the next one. So I hit buzzers off down here. We'd reset, now we go on to the next question. And then that's the whole process. So it's just buzzers hot, ask a question, People can buzz in. And then as they buzz in, um, you just go down the list. And then once they get it right, if they, if they get it wrong, you hit wrong. If they get it right, you hit correct. And then you go to the bonus timer. And if they don't get it right, then you can hit the, you see the plus minus buttons across the bottom. That's where you can either give them points or if they get it wrong, you hit minus and that ends their score because they, they they can go until they get it wrong. <laughs> so that's how that works. So that's the whole game. So then you'd keep on playing for uh, 15 minutes. Now, if you want to edit that clock, you can, uh, you can see that we, you can edit the clock here. And now, uh, just this is a good time to add. You notice that when I pause the clock, I hit red. The buzzers are now don't work anymore. The buzzers are, that turns the buzzers off. So that way, if you need to edit something, you're not click, uh, clicking on this because the buzzers are linked to keyboard strokes. So they can mess with that. Uh, so if you see red, buzzers aren't off. If you turn the screen off with this off button, you'll see, now you just see my desktop, my Crack Control Games desktop. And so if you see the screen is off, it's red because if you see red, the, 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 the buzzers are dead. <laughs> so if the, there's red there or there, or if you hit down here, if you hit the edit button, this is where you can actually edit your team names. So if I wanna call this team name two, uh, you can see that uh, then when I hit uh, play, that will then put that up there into the team name up there.
Now, so if I, I go back in that edit screen, so you can see I can, I've got a bunch of different teams in here. I can type in the team name here and then the four players that are in that team. And you can see the numbers there to the left. That's the number of buzzer that they would have. So we have up to 16 buzzers. Those buzzers, when you buy them from affordablebuzzers.com, will come with a sticker on the bottom that will let you know which buzzer they will connect to. So there'll be a one through 16. Uh, one through uh, one through nine are the one through nine keys. 10 is zero. And then it goes A, B, C, D, E, F are the keyboard strokes that make that all work, okay? So you can type all those in if you want to. Now, if you, if you have, a, say you're doing a tournament. So we got this, the, the, the kind of the idea behind this is someone could run a tournament or they could do it through like a big corporate event or let's say you're gonna have like 50 teams. Well, you don't wanna type in all those 50 teams. So what we do is we got a CSV importer and when you input the, import those team names, what you'll see is you'll see the list of all the teams are right here. So the way the importer works is, and I can actually pull it up, but it's just the file name is just right here. You'll see that's the format. It's team name, player one, player two, player, play, player four. And then you can just make a text file that's just a list of all those. So every line is that, but make sure the text file saves as a .csv file. You can have any text editor. Uh, you don't have to use Excel or anything like that. You can just use a basic, basic text editor and just uh, do that format. And then each line should be Type that in and hit return, then the next line, exactly like that. And then the team name and player names, that's the team names that you're seeing here, will all show up here. And then when you can select that team, then all the names in that team would show up inside of there. We've got a template on the website, so you can download one, look at it right there, but that's a quick way that you can just go in here and just select which team you want. And then that way you can have bunches and you have hundreds of teams, have it all pre-programmed and ready to go. Now. So we've covered and then when you're ready to go, and then whenever you make a change, if you type something in, whenever you hit play, that saves whatever you are. And whoops, I forgot to hit a name up there. So let's go back here to new team. I'm just gonna pick the old old name and hit uh, play. So there you go. You can see how that all works. So once you've got all the teams there, you're ready to play. Uh, at the very end, if you hit reset game, uh, it's got a fun little thing option here. If you wanna just reset and get back to zero, that will reset back to just you're ready to play now. But it also has the option is if you want to export these, as a reminder, if you are doing a tournament, this will export a text file that writes down uh, like the school name, what room you're in, what round you're in. If you are doing a big tournament for a big collegiate bowl or something like that, uh, you hit export there and that will save a little text file to, it saves it to your, uh, to your documents folder. It makes a folder called Buzzer Bowl and will save all that information in there. If you're in a big tournament, this will help you keep score and records really quick and really easy. So uh, hopefully that, that will help you out there. So uh, the last thing we got is once you're done there, then you, uh, once you've got all your, uh, whenever you've played everything, uh, you've got your team, teams up there, whichever team has the most score, and I'm just, just to show you, you can hit these plus minus buttons to edit the score if you need to at any time. Uh, they're, they're really there for the bonus uh, round, but you can also, if you just make a mistake or you wanna add something or give someone some extra points. But when it's all done, when the, when the, time, when the clock timer has ended, then you can just hit the winner button and 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 that is the buzzer bowl so hopefully this will be a lot of fun for uh, uh for your next uh, college event or big corporate event or just a, a, a time when you want to have a bunch of people playing a lot of games and having a whole lot of fun so hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions there's more information at crowdcontrolgames.com until then we'll see you later thanks